The state security guard noticed the odor of sewage and then saw toilet paper by the Nimitz Highway viaduct. KITV Force Nana Okawa has more on the wastewater spill into the Keehi Lagoon. Warning signs make it clear. Stay out of the water here at Keihi Lagoon. The canoe clubs are not taking any chances. And in the past, uh, we've had um, people get infection from the water and it, they just have a mosquito bite or a, a scratch. So why chance it for, for the kids to get infection? The Nao Pio Championship has been canceled this weekend. The canoers will have to practice here on land instead of out there. We've trained really hard to attempt to get our first place back as we did in the beginning of the season and it's really a downfall to our game. The city's Department of Environmental Services says at least 3,000 gallons of wastewater has already leaked into the lagoon. Crews work to try and repair the crack pipe located under the Nimitz viaduct. The canoeing coach says it's been a long, hard season. They were mentally prepared to compete tomorrow. Maybe four to six weeks of hard practice. And this is where it comes down to how hard you practice is how well you're going to do in a championship. You have to push hard past what you can do in order to see better results the next time. So that's how I was preparing myself throughout this whole week. But the students see there is a bright side to the hold off. Now that the race is postponed, I feel like now is our chance to get together as a group and really get into our zone. No one's sure of how the sewage pipe cracked. Until the warning signs are removed, which could be in three to five days, everyone is advised to stay out of the waters of the lagoon from the Nimitz Viaduct to the end of the canoe launch areas. The championship is yet to be rescheduled.